Local 5 is taking a closer look with unique perspective from Northeast Wisconsin. There are global implications, in particular, how this will impact efforts by the U.S. to establish diplomatic relations between Israel and other countries in the Arab world. More recently, um, the Biden administration has been working to try to get Saudi Arabia to normalize relations with Israel. And that was the last and biggest country uh, and sort of obstacle towards um, reaching a sense of normalization. Top U.S. diplomats have made a point of reaching out to the Saudis in the wake of Israel's declaration of war on Hamas. It remains unclear just how many other leaders in the international community will lend their voice to try to contain the conflict and if those words will even work. Israel has already um, attacked a couple of Hezbollah uh, sites in southern Lebanon and should Iran get involved or Syria and there is a risk that it could broaden to a greater conflict in the Middle East, which would really be um, horrific for the entire world community. And while we are talking about oil-rich Middle East, prices at the pump remain on track to keep falling in the United States. Energy analysts say crude oil prices that jumped immediately after last weekend's surprise attack have now retreated. Of course, this is all contingent on the conflict not expanding geographically.